Hello, lightning strikes. Oh my god. I'm so happy to be back. I took like four or five day breaks. If you're new here, that's a little bit new for me. And so this is my first year in my business um, called School of Energetics where I am a teacher. And so I just teach based off of what I see on the spiritual realm. I've been seeing the spiritual realm for a decade. A decade. W w 10 years. And let me tell you, I feel like I lived a thousand lifetimes. It's not even something I'm saying to be like funny on camera. Like it really matures you so fast. And anyone who else who sees the spiritual realm, you know what I'm talking about. It's like you're on a different frequency. Partly because your frequency you're able to pick up on frequencies doesn't care that you're in algebra it doesn't care that you are in a healthy relationship it just allows you to see it and it breaks so many rules and it explains my channel my channel is based off of that um it's based on that because i wanted me i needed me for the past 10 years and it didn't get me i got what I got and I just hoped to get me so for me my channel is based off of what I see in the spiritual realm it's not a Christian channel it's not a pagan channel it's not an Islamic channel it is above that it is an atomic channel I deal with atomic frequencies okay I deal with vibration I don't deal people say it's new age it's not new age your light right now shining in your house is not new age your laptop picking up the sound of my voice is not new age when you go in your car and you play music that is not new age that is the laws of the universe working to make your life seamlessly well so energetics is like such it is not a offensive it's not to be it's not designed i'm not designing my teachings and my perspective to be the next religion it is an addition to whatever religion you have. If you're Islamic, it's an addition. If you're Christian, it's an addition. If you are atheist, it's an addition to your atheist journey. It's not to be, oh, she's she's claiming this. No, 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 no. I've been through enough pain. I don't do that. Um, but I do recommend wherever you are in whatever country you are, Please stick to your religion. Do not use me as your end all be all. Use me as an addition. If you pay attention, you will be able to help the people within your circle. They may not understand, but they will benefit. Okay? And so here, last thing I'll say about my intro. We don't live for applause. We don't live for a check mark. We don't live for validation. I don't post my videos. So people can validate me. You're more than welcome to. But that's not my need. My need is to say the truth. It's just like, I don't even know how that need came about in my life. Maybe because people just said the truth and it wasn't the truth. It said their truth, but it wasn't the truth. Anyways, so likewise, I just want you to understand I'm not replacing religion. I'm adding on to whatever you believe. So to, to even get into that, I wanted to say to my subscribers, please, don't watch my video if you haven't been studying. Like, my videos work best if you're somebody who learns always. Like, your free time, you have a podcast going on. And it's not just like a podcast talking about, like, delinquency. It's like a genuine podcast. So you're just like, you're always in a constant state of learning. When you come to my channel, you feel fed. If you come to my channel and you're depending on me, it doesn't work like that. I work best with people who are cultivated they're already they're already in the spirit they wake up energized they wake up s such a high frequency now i do care for my depressed students as well but depression is so complex i don't want people who are depressed to come to me and say like joy saved me you saved yourself you listened i wouldn't have saved you if you just paid it if you didn't know how to discipline yourself and pay attention so it's like I didn't save you. You saved yourself, kind of. You knew that I was important and you needed to listen and you did it. Okay, so that's also what I want to say. So today we're going to talk about femininity and relationships. So let's just get straight to the chase because I already talked a lot. Okay, 
first of all, femininity is a master of relationships. Okay? We rule relationships. A lot of men, and I'm talking about the men that we, uh, we, we, our pussies get wet. We want to fuck. We don't just, they're not just the men you see on the construction. We're talking about the men we want, okay? As a feminine woman, we know what we're talking about. Okay, we know the men that we want. These men require one thing, one thing only. Femininity. That is so fucking rare. To be feminine is so fucking rare. And so discombobulated. It is so priceless. Priceless. This is why these feminine women do not go to, they don't clock in anywhere. There's no time spam. Femininity is so priceless. Jobs want feminine women, but they want feminine women to act like men. They don't want femininity that requires, oh, I'm tired today. I'm really tired of my period, motherfucker. Okay, I'm cussing. It's not feminine, but I'm a teacher, okay? Right now, I'm in teaching mode. I'm feminine teaching mode. These jobs want you there. They, no, oh, let me be kind. They need you there. There's no man, men who have money, men who have a lot of money, who will pay for women's presence at all. Unless the women are there. They will not pay for drinks. They will not pay for clubbing. They will not pay for time. They will not pay for sections. They will not pay for stadiums. They will not pay for universities. If women weren't there. Specifically, attractive feminine women. This is a priceless skill. When I charge what I do on my courses, imagine what your husband's going to pay when he knows how feminine you are. Imagine what he will pay, the house, the car, the ring. Imagine what he's going to pay after you pay for my courses. Femininity is no joke. Most women think they're feminine. You're pretty. You're attractive. You're not feminine. Femininity is so internal. I would even challenge that femininity is just internal. It's just internal. And it's not about, I know my worth. Oh, no, no, no. It's, you've known your worth for the past decade. Like, feminine women don't miss. Feminine women, if you're, like, let's say, how about this? If you have a child right now, and you're a feminine woman, you consider yourself feminine, you got, like, life happened, you're a feminine woman. Let's say that. Put your kids in private school. Be so feminine that you put your kids in private school. That's a feminine thing. A feminine woman would never let her children be put in what? What the fuck are you talking about? A hood school? No. Because femininity nurtures. So she's planning on nurture uh, of anything. You must nurture your kids. That's a fucking baseline. You're not feminine if you don't nurture your kids. If you're, like, so, for example, if you're a woman who's chasing men, but your kids are not taken care of, no. You're not feminine. You're not feminine to the man. And so don't argue. Because you're like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Just accept it. Just accept it. What if it's just true and you just ran with it? So a feminine woman, even if she's a single mother, puts her kids in private schools. And guess what? Once she's in the private schools, guess who else takes her kids to private schools? Other very smart men. So the teachers, the coaches, the um, other men in the school. They are looking at you. They're paying attention to your femininity. And it almost makes me emotional. Because women don't know this. So they all... Feminine women don't have low standards. For themselves. Or their fucking kids. Or their fucking nieces. Or their siblings. Or their parents. Or their fucking extended cousins. They don't have any low standards in any way. Otherwise you wouldn't be a fucking feminine woman. You would just... I don't know what you'd be. I don't know if you'd be a man or a masculine woman. But I know feminine women don't play that. So there's an an illusion that when you're a feminine woman, you're not aggressive with making sure everyone in your life is beneficial. That's That's not feminine. 
So really masculine men, the ones who accomplish, not the ones who are just claiming to be masculine, the ones who accomplish, they pay attention. They pay attention to the fact that you will never let your kids be in a fucked up neighborhood. They, you would never yourself live in there. If you did, you would shut it down. You wouldn't just let anyone come in your house. You're like, I have to live here for survival mode. Uh-uh. You have like 14 locks. You're so feminine. You're like, you know, you're so priceless. Anyone can do anything. And so women, women don't agree with me. All over the country, they don't agree with me. But their lifestyle doesn't give them room to disagree. It doesn't give them room. And so I, let me tell you about myself. So I grew up super feminine. And so I rebelled because I thought, I was taught, I also grew up in the Bay Area, so I was taught that, like, women's rights, like, women's fucking rights, women's rights, women, women's rights doesn't mean you're always right, like, women's rights was, like, the thing, and so, it was kind of, like, hilarious if you thought, if I was actually thinking about this today, I don't even know if I want to say my channel, because I'm, I'm on track to get married, but I'll say it, because I, I trust and believe that my husband will understand my career, I regret the, one of the men who, I had three proposals, I'm 24, one of the men who proposed to me, I should have married him. I should have married him. That, he had it. He had what he, he needed. You know why I didn't marry him? Because I was terrified as fuck. It's like, oh, wait. It's this easy for me to get married? Oh, wait. No, I'm supposed to, like, get heartbroken and be in so much pain and so much turmoil. This man proposed to me, and it was so simple. He proposed to me within the first month. And he wasn't a creep because I've been proposed many times within the first couple, six months, multiple times or just like, it, no. And I knew, I even now today, I'm like, yeah, today I will admit I regret that decision. That decision was a bad decision. In my opinion, it's better for a woman. Oh, this is so fucked up. Oh my God. The entire internet is going to flip out. But this is, you have to understand where I'm coming from when I say this. Like, I know you're going to get mad. I know you're going to get sad. You're going to get sappy. You're going to get super, super upset. But it's really better for you to have gotten married, gotten pregnant, and been a single mother after marriage than fucking be fucking and just getting pregnant and you haven't even touched a diamond on your finger. That is not okay. That is not okay in any way, shape, or form. I have no kids, but that is not okay in any way, shape, or form. You would rather have been married three years, you had a pregnant, and he, he left you, he cheated on you, he did something absolutely so wrong, than just let him impregnate you, and you had no ring. Fuck no. Fuck no. And any woman saying that's not true? Women have a very strong reputation to pretending like shit is not going downhill. In fact, I would say you're a feminine woman if you pretend that shit's not going downhill. Because that gene, it's supposed to be activated, but it's supposed to be balanced with your intelligence. It's kind of like when you're a feminine woman, you have to allow men to be correct and know that they're wrong and take the downhill and take it and have, have the resources there available, but you don't criticize it. It's kind of like, oh wow like I didn't know it's gonna end up like this but like act shocked you do not want to be the one correcting a man and I say this with my full chest I'm not gonna get a lot of support I'm not gonna get a lot of support but I still need to say it because there's there's strategy within it like let him fail in front of you and still support you I don't have this kind of um See, I told you. See, I told you. You should have just listened to me. Oh, no. <laughs> Your child going to be no father by fifth grade. Sixth grade, seventh grade. No. No. Let him fail and let you know that you knew he was going to fail and let him self-correct. This is the essence of femininity. You have, you have your resources. You know what you can do. To do it by yourself and do it by yourself. But you know he's going to fail. Let him fail. Without you correcting. Just say the cor the most correction he'll get is like, I feel so unsafe in this environment. It's like, you don't even correct him. Let him self-correct. 
And this is incredibly hard. If you've grown up in the American school system that said, you're always right, you're always right, just like, just say how you feel, like, just, no. Be shutting the fuck up. Just be like, well, I trust you. I trust you to, like, get this situation solved. And you're not coming in from an ego place. You're just coming in from, like, like, he's a leader. And just, like, coming in from this place of, like, I trust that you're going to do it. If you do trust him, it doesn't matter. But just come with your smile and your eyes. Like, I really trust you. He's just going to look at that. Just think of a child. Like, mom, I trust you to do this. What the fuck are you going to do? You're going to do it. You're going to fucking do it. If your kid come to you and they have those innocent eyes and sweet eyes. Like, mom, I just know you're going to help us. Like, I just don't have any. I don't have any doubt. Oh, fuck no. Oh, even myself. Even myself and my child looked at me like that. And said, mom, I know that you're going to do it. I know you're so capable. I wouldn't even fucking complain doing it. I would have the biggest grin on myself being so tortured with, I don't know if I'm going to make it, but I would have the biggest grin. Fuck out of here. What what do you prioritize as a woman? Like that, you have to understand men. Like you have to understand how to do it. And even now, there's men who are going to watch and like, they're not even know what to say because they've never met a woman like this. And this is your top 10% as a woman. There's men who make six figures plus da 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 da. They have like a fucking fit body and they have this. But for a woman, what is your 10%? It's not you having that degree. It's this. It's your ability to say, I trust you. I just know. I know you're going to figure it out. I just know you're so capable and you're so smart. And, like, even if you have to say it with a tear in your eye, just say it. You're going to do it. Six months, you'll do it. Six months a year, he'll do it. Don't even entertain. Don't switch up. It's kind of like you're fully embodied in this role. And it benefits you because guess what? That man is going to look at you, like, with respect. He's going to be like, wow. And this is, we're not talking about unhealthy men. Unhealthy men are like, you're lazy. You're lazy. You should have, you should have put your weight. But these are men, we're not trying to fuck. We're trying to show society that we have a man. But the men that you're trying to have sex with and you're trying to so, show society that you have this man, it's, it's this dynamic. It's like, I just trust you. And you know you can do it four times better. But you don't. That's femininity. So, also when you're feminine, you're ten times smarter than your man. He doesn't give a fuck if he knows. No one cares. When you're ten times smarter than the average person, no one gives a shit. Just like when men do things for you, you don't give a shit. It doesn't matter. When you're ten times smarter than a man, you are... 10 to 20, 40, 5, 50 times smarter, no one will care. At all. At all. They wouldn't even bat an eye. They wouldn't be like, what value does it hold? Let them say it. Being smarter is... It's not an... The right man will... They will see that above your femininity. It'll be like on the same category, not above, but I'll say it's the same category, the the, the extreme intelligence and the femininity. That man, mm-mm. you not going nowhere, bitch. <laughs> you my wife. Okay. Ru- wife is better than rubies. This is when it activates. You're feminine and you're 10 times smarter than the average man. Even him, he'll calculate. He'll say, I'm a dumbass if I let this go. But we don't want that reaction. But we want it to kind of... We don't want that to be decision. We want that to be kind of like... Something that's resting in his background. Right? And so, the, my this kind of advice is suitable for people who've been in stupid relationships. Just like... Just dumb. When you are done being dumb, this is, advice works. If you're not done to, like, just be used or if your man just pretend like you don't know common sense, the same thing. So, be ten times smarter. As a man, pay attention when a woman is way smarter than you, but she refuses to submit. 
Submission doesn't mean she's not thinking whatever the fuck she wants. It just means she knows for the sake of this family, it's not time for me to be led. And I would say that's when she's smarter. Michelle Obama, let's just talk about her. because She's a black woman who was feminine and submissive. So the entire world used to say, like, she's so ugly. She has, she's an alien feature. She's so, so unattractive. But, like, yeah, they're not running for office and they're not winning. So she also, I respect her down to the marrow of my bones. Like, her family, I respect. Um, because she knew how to see that Obama was running for office and then he did not have time to be the father of her dreams. And it pissed her the fuck off. But guess what? She never complained. She said, okay. Okay. That's what it is. She controlled herself. Guess what? They're still married. And they're a black family. Bitch. For that to happen? In this culture? Never. So, and they're fucking leaders of the United States. Leaders of white people. (laughs) Sweetheart. That is going to come from her just being hot and black. I remember even Michelle Obama said to herself, she said, if I worried about the hottest man or men who want me and I was worried about text back, I would have never found Obama. That means she was looking for a certain type of man. She was smart. When you're smart, it doesn't matter how pretty you are. You being pretty is something a fucking 19-year-old would think of. But some men, they're not interested in you just being a young woman. They're interested in you being... What is the word? Like, what is... It's like this God help me with the word. It's like a... A flower. Each flower has thorns. It's like you're pretty, but you also... These thorns are not just like you're a diva. It's kind of like a class it's about dignity it's about strategy it's about clearly you had family members or people you trust coaches like me who sat there and spoke to you and said don't fucking try that shit don't fucking try and triumphant never in your fucking right mind do that ever because divorce is fun it's fun. Like, let me tell you. Oh, hold on. This is the best. Let's end it like here. So, me. So, I tested all, all y'all theories, okay? You all, okay? Theories. Oh, just be independent black woman. Just do, just do whatever you want. Like, just, he should, he should just understand. He should just, like, be by your side, even though you're the fucking delinquent. Like, okay, so I lived in that environment. And then I realized that. I, there's certain dynamics with men I don't like. And one of them is the dynamic where I'm always right. I don't like it. Even though I can be right, I'm smart, and I can, I don't want it. I want the right version of men that they're always right. Oh my god, you're just so smart. It's not even like, it may sound robotic, but I genuinely, I don't want that version of them. I love the version where they're always right, and then they're protecting me, and then they're they like buy stuff for me and then they we eat dinner and then we do fun stuff and then we make disrespectful amount of love like just insane and i'm screaming and the walls are pretty much falling down because i'm screaming because of how lovely our making love is but when i'm always right i don't get that lovely making love i don't get it i get i don't get that version of them that i want I don't want that. So as a woman, also stop accepting dates for men that you don't want. Like, they don't have that, what you want, that you're craving, that you're just like, oh my God, I hope he texts me today. Or like, it's like, oh, is, will he ever propose? You're not even shocked when he's proposing. Like, you just want that feeling of like, oh my God, I'm with a man. Like, and you're googly eyed. Like, you literally can't even think straight. That's a different frequency. That's about shutting the fuck up and letting your man win. And of course, you're picking a man that has a higher strategy of winning. But even then, as a woman, we don't believe they exist. So we're still at fault. 
we're like, oh, you, wait, you you guys actually exist? Yes. All over the planet. But when you come in with that, I'm right, and you should submit to me, no. Even 20 years from now, you don't even want that man. You don't want that version. You want that one who's like stoic and knows right from wrong. And it's a little bit annoying, but if you can listen and understand who he is, then it's not that annoying. So what I'll say is that as a woman, just try and be so feminine. Like, please, please give yourself a dating chance. Give yourself a chance of not going to clock in ever again. Be feminine. Oh my God, you're so right. <laughs> and guess what? I got to sleep in an extra two hours this morning. Yeah, no, I fucking love my man. So this also puts you in a frequency that you don't hate men anymore. When these, when you're standing for a man to provide and love you and respect you, you don't hate these men. You will never utter the words, I hate men, ever again. Ever. Even if he cheats on you, you will never utter it. Ever. Because it's silly. It's silly. You have a man who makes sure you don't have to see people again. Bitch, I will never fucking complain. And I'm not even saying that as a wish. I've been there and I've offered these men and I still get afraid because I'm like, holy shit, I'm one of those women. I'm so attractive I can get one of these men? No. Don't do that again. Just accept it. Even if the marriage ends short, accept it. Because no matter what, when you get married, you're fucking more respectable. And I'm speaking to women because women are like, I don't need marriage. Yes, you do. Bitch, you do. You do need to make sure. You are the ruler of relationships. Yes, you do need a marriage. Even if it makes you think that you're losing, you do. You do need it. You need it. Other people need it to see you. Because when you are married, you are more respectable to mature adults. When you're a woman who can't get married, to mature adults who are healthy, functioning, like productive members of society, they look at you and you're like, at least tell me you want to get married because then that's believable. If you say, I don't want marriage and not, no. You're going to say, Oprah did it. Oprah's unique because Oprah was, had a very traumatic experience in her younger years. She And you know what I'm talking about. I don't want to say in this page, but you know what she went through as a child like with her father and like uncles and just just absolutely just dysfunctional things. She's different. She has a different level of pain that she needs to go through. That's not what we're talking about. And if you went through that, I understand. And one day, you will still come to this conclusion. Okay? So, also, being successful doesn't mean you're healthy. Doesn't mean you're good at relationships. These things don't have to do with anything. This is why why I say women are the masters of relationships because most men cannot do this. Most people cannot do this. Most children can do this. It's women, us, me, the people who are like, okay, if I don't learn how to be a master of relationships, we may never have a functioning society. I.e. society at large. So what I'm saying for us, no relationships, know it. Understand you're going to lose. You're going to feel embarrassed sometimes. That's okay. You don't have to clock in. All you have to do is pay attention. Pay attention to the frequency. Pay attention to God. Because God's been telling you this. There's no way I would say this unless God would say... No. Know how to evolve yourself in relationships. Most women don't. And I promise you... I will put my entire company on the line. If you know relationships, you know how to lose, your man will never leave you. He will never. And he pay, and he pays 100% of the bills, and he paid for your car, and a ring, and the wedding, he will never leave you. You may disagree, he'll never leave you. So please, listen to me. Motherfucker, please listen. Okay. This fucking society doesn't need more people who think they're right. It needs more people who know to listen. XOXO. Love you so much. Bye. Courses are down below.